Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about the Death Guard Chaos Land Raider, which I recently finished painting. And when I say recently, I mean literally last night. <laughs> I've actually had this for a while. This was a, a Christmas gift and I probably built it in January. I've been putting it off for so long because I am really bad at painting vehicles. I don't know if it's just like all like the flat panels, but I really struggle with it. So it was always a bit daunting for me to kind of like tackle something like this. I was kind of hoping that I would have like an airbrush by the time I got to painting this uh, because I've seen online there are quite a few cool like airbrush techniques you can use to paint vehicles which I will be trying in the future uh, but anyway that's besides the point. Uh, this is actually the second video that I've made on the Land Raider. I made one uh, it would have been late last year and I, I, I never posted it. It was a little bit sad, a little bit negative and that's because in New Zealand, it is very, very hard to get hold of one of these. It's always sold out on GW store. I've never actually seen it available at like a hobby store or a Warhammer store. And so what happened was I really wanted to try one out. Um, it wasn't available anywhere, so I went to eBay. And it is crazy how expensive Land Raiders are on eBay. But anyway, I found one which was like kind of reasonable price. It was still quite a lot more than um, what you could get it for at the store. I bought it from some hobby store in Germany, was super excited when it arrived and when I opened the box I realized it was missing a few pieces. It didn't have like the whole top bit and some of like the back of it was missing and that really sucked. I sent it back to them, I got a refund but obviously I lost money when I like sent it to them. It was a very expensive exercise and I would recommend to any of you who are you know looking to purchase things on ebay just be careful about where you get them from i'm not going to name and shame the store but yeah i was definitely down for a little bit and was super happy when i got this for christmas now let's actually talk about what i have done here so recently i did a video on a plague marine which i did in dark imperium theme a brown plague marine with like marble basing and that sort of thing and i really liked how it turned out in the color scheme i kind of kept that theme in mind when painting this land raider and so what I've done is I did kind of like a marble-like texture around the whole vehicle. And I was really happy with how this turned out. Like I mentioned at the start, like I'm very, I'm not very good at painting flat surfaces. Creating like a marble-like texture really helped me through the process because you know, when you're painting marble, you don't have to be, you know, it's not like straight rigged lines. You can be random, you can flow, you can do pretty much whatever you want. And no matter how messy it gets, it still kind of looks all right, if that makes sense. <laughs> So I did all of that first and what I wanted to do was the top of it make it kind of look like a garden. It's camouflage, it's corrupted by Nurgle in the sense that not so much like the disease, contagion, that side of things, but more like the, the circle of life, vegetation side of Nurgle. Um, so I've got a few Nurglings on the top here. Let, let's talk about them real quick. So I've got a Nurgling with this guy here's from Mortarian set and he's you know spreading the contagion around. I've got a little uh, yellowy orange one on the back um, with the rockets here and then I've got a blue a blue one just um, playing around on top. In terms of how I kind of made this like vegetation area, I actually purchased a, I've just got it here next to me, this kind of like preset um, terrain, it's, uh, it's called Stony Mountain Ground by uh, Ammo and I just cut a piece of this off and kind of like cut it up to size. It was a bit hard to cut because there was like stones and things on it. Yeah, I chopped it all up, glued it on, and then I used like these like little moss bits to uh, kind of tidy up the edges and hide some details. I also used the moss bits on top of the guns and down below here on the back and on the sides a little bit just to you know create more of that like overgrown feeling. In terms of some other details that I did for this, I used green stuff uh, to make like these roots coming out from underneath. So I've got some up the front, on the side, on the back here. I'm not very good at green stuff, but I can make vines, <laughs> you know. You pretty much just make it like a long line and uh, just paint it up. And then on top of that, I also purchased um, some ivy and jungle leaves. I've never used these before. I really wanted to try it out. They are very, very hard to use. And I'm just gonna open one of these up to show you. But basically it comes on like this little, like, paper film thing I guess and you have to like really be very careful and like pull it pull it all out so I did break a couple of them the ivy actually wasn't too bad but the jungle leaves were so hard because they're all like individual ones so I only managed to get four of them out in total and then I had to like glue it all on 
but I, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I think it looks amazing. The Land Raider I've been using for, or well, since the start of the year, and it probably is one of my favorite units in the army. Uh, I don't think it's like the strongest or maybe not even the most cost effective. It's very expensive. It's like 240 points at the moment. And typically I would load it up with a Lord of Contagion and sometimes a unit of Blight Lords or a unit of Death Shroud. Oh, and just, you know, having a different way to transport your Death Shroud, your four inch moving Death Shroud <laughs> or Terminators into combat as opposed to having to deep strike them in. I, I love what the Land Raider brings to the table. Having four Laz Cannons as well, so good. And it's probably the strongest option we have in terms of like ranged uh, combat. I mean, obviously you could get almost get like two predator destructors or two annihilators for the same cost of land raider and in terms of like long range combat yeah you probably would get more value out of having two of those as opposed to one of these bad boys but um yeah really loving it so glad it's finally painted and i just have so much fun with it now i do have the index card here as well and i will talk a couple of things about that but first off one other little detail actually a couple of details on the back here I tried to um, do like a burnt muzzle kind of effect on the exhaust pipes up here. And then down below here, I have uh, freehanded the number 1400 because uh, the other day I reached 1400 subscribers on YouTube. And, and it was the same day I finished painting this, really to remind myself of my achievements on, on YouTube as well. So yeah, that's the Land Raider. Uh, now going to the index card, the Land Raider is absolutely insane in terms of its defensive profile. Toughness 12, 2 up save, uh, no one ball but 16 wounds, very hard to get through. And that's just another reason why I love having it on the table. Unless your opponent's army has a lot of dedicated anti-tank, they really struggle to get through this. Um, if they don't have much AP, they really struggle to get through this. So yeah, really, really cool having this on the table. I talked a little bit about the Laz Cannons and the Land Raider also has so many other guns which do a little bit of like chip damage here and there. I, I don't think there's anything really stand out that's worth mentioning. In terms of its abilities, it, it does have Assault Ramp, so when your Terminator's after it's moved and it's unloaded, they can charge, uh, which is great for Death Guard, right? It's where we want to be. Now, one thing you do have to be mindful of with the Land Raider. This is something that has hurt me probably more than it should have, uh, statistically speaking. <laughs> Deadly Demise D6. The amount of damage this has done to my own army is absolutely crazy. I think the last game that I used this and it blew up, it was next to Lord of Contagion and Free Death Shroud. I killed two of the Death Shroud. Also triggered another explosion because there was another vehicle next to me. I killed the third Death Shroud Lord of Contagion was on his own. So just be mindful that this, maybe once you've dropped off your uh, Terminators, it might be best to like back off a bit and just make sure there's nothing within that six inches, unless it's like your opponent's units. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of like a quick overview of my new Land Raider. Like I've said a few times already in this video, I love how it looks, I love how it plays, and I am probably gonna keep using it for a very long time. So yeah, if you made it this far into the video, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and I look forward to seeing you guys again sometime soon. I'll see you around.